All right, well, welcome back to the Resident Evil 2 Remake. Got a couple things to talk about before we begin as usual, mostly in regards to, I guess, changing settings and stuff. So number one, there was a little bit of background noise in in the last recording that really didn't pop up in a lot of my tests, but uh, unfortunately, that's how it is. Well, my computer gets a little bit loud, and I'm not really sure how to deal with that issue. I don't have very many ideas besides, like, I don't know, maybe a couple. So I tried to move stuff around. And I tried to change some volume settings so that it's a little bit less noticeable. But for now, it might just have to be something that I have to deal with until I can figure out a better solution. Because unfortunately, right now I'm not working with a I'm not working with a lot of space. So uh, that's that's the main problem. So loud computer, not a lot of space. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Um, but it's probably not too bad. I think it's a little bit better now. But I'll have to continue to work on that to to get it to sound just just a little bit better so that it doesn't show up at all. Um, and in line with that, uh, I, I did buy some other things that will help uh, with my, my own commentary audio that will get here hopefully in a couple days. So uh, for now, just going to have to sit on it and wait. Mostly like uh, just like a pop filter and just whenever, you know, P sounds happen, it can be a little bit jarring. Uh, if I'm a little bit too close to the mic and what have you. I do have something that kind of helps with it, but it's clearly not enough right now. So that's another thing that I did. And another thing that I did was I changed some quality settings. So hopefully not only does the game look a little bit better than the first session, hopefully the frame rate will be a little bit smoother as well. So and those will just be things I continue to work on and continue to tweak until hopefully it just gets better and better. And uh, this will be the, the first major test to that. Whether things are better or not, I don't know. The, the initial test seemed promising, but it's going to take a little bit to, to get everything in a better spot. But that's kind of what I expected. I mostly just wanted to, to get back into recording and have things be at an acceptable level, at least, when first starting. And the first recording session wasn't perfect, but... Uh, I think I think it is decently acceptable, but the jury's still out on that. So uh, the only thing I can do is continue to tweak settings and and hopefully purchase things that I feel will help me and move from there. But other than that, let's get into the game. Item to be disposed: key to patrol car seven four three nine. Bent key no longer usable, but can still open the car's trunks and the doors and trunk. Cars usually only have one trunk, so not plural trunks. And here's the stupid box that it's in. I usually don't get this uh, pistol upgrade, but I'll probably use it. I can't remember exactly what it does, but I'll probably use it. Message from Mr. Raccoon. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these these raccoon toys or these, like, little statues that you can break. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, and that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous, so just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. All right. Thanks, Mr. Raccoon. Thanks a lot. I actually don't know if there's any raccoon toys. Um, I've already gotten this one because I've already beaten the game, basically, but... Uh, this should be a different, like, file altogether, like a different game altogether since it's on PC. So I probably don't have all of them, but I, I did get this one, at least. These zombies are also alive slash come alive at some point, so probably better to break my knife on them. I'll just get rid of them now. You bastard. I don't even think you really need to get rid of these guys. Like, you could probably leave them and be fine, but they come they come alive later. Or soon. Sooner or later they come alive. And uh, they can be a little bit annoying. But I could probably actually just, like, leave them alive. But it is standard difficulty, so I can probably get away with kind of wasting some ammo on stuff that I would otherwise try to conserve. And, uh... That's about it. It's pretty much the You can probably avoid most stuff in the game. Maybe not most, but a lot of it. Most if you're, like, really good and really know the game. But I like killing zombies and stuff, so... 
I tend to like trying to to shoot them up if I can. And on standard, you generally are given a decent amount of ammo. That's not really a problem as long as you aren't missing a ton. But now we're in the, uh, like, I don't know what, like the basement? I don't know what it would be considered. Basically the basement police station. Uh, Leon gets it a little bit easier here, I think. First blue herb as well. I should probably also reload this shotgun. I think Leon gets it a little bit easier. Claire has a bunch of liquors in this area, whereas Leon has dogs. And I'm also pretty sure you can kill some of these dogs in the cage. And you won't have to deal with quite as many dogs a little bit later. So there's like, yeah, there's like three dogs here that you can kill. I'm pretty sure it reduces the number of them that you'll run into, so... Generally a good idea to just God damn it. pop them a little bit and uh, move on with your life. But there's at least two liquors in this room with Claire, which is kind of annoying. And then there's like a, at least a third one outside of this door, which can suck. But Leon faces dogs, which are quick and annoying, but I think they're a little bit less annoying than liquors. And in general, just this whole basement area has been redesigned a little bit. There's still the morgue. But overall, stuff has been changed a little bit. This guy was found dead in a jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Uh, this deceased was a known kleptomaniac incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail. Though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. Okay. Uh, there's a like a bunch of these things you can just kind of like pull out, but most of them have nothing in it. And most of the time, it's probably just annoying if you open them all out. Or open them all up. Get a nice red herb here. Um, I think there's at least one or two zombies in these, but if you find one that has a zombie in it, you can just push it back in and then they can't get out. Because once you grab a nice item over there, somewhere, I think it's a key, um, a couple zombies will come to life. And there's bugs in this one, so we'll just close that one up. It's pretty disgusting. What else we got? Another empty one. This is, this is going to be the whole, the whole rest of the playthrough, just opening up little morgue holding areas. This is just a zombie. Oh, he actually does have a flashbang with him. So I'll go ahead and take the flashbang. I don't know why he has a flashbang. His cherished flashbang that he had all his life. We'll go ahead and close him back up. This zombie eventually comes to life and has an ass load of health for some reason. So what the? if ever I was going to get a nice head pop, it would hopefully be on this guy. Because Oh, there we go. This is, this is the luckiest I've been in, like, a playthrough in regards to head pops. That guy seriously takes, like, so much ammo to kill. He's he's a pretty tanky boy. Gotta say. I don't know what's going on in here. I don't even think she has any items, so we'll go ahead and lock her back up. Don't really feel like dealing with that. This has nothing in it. This is already gone. There's another zombie in here, but I don't know if he has any items. Oh, he does. Oh, this is the key zombie. This is this is the one we actually needed to open. And there's nothing in there, so. Get a couple of things. Need to pull them all the way out. So I can pick up this nice key and then get the hell out of here. I think he comes to life? Yeah, he does. But since we killed the zombie by the door and no one else has been opened up, we can just... Leave scot free. Pretty nice. Leon also has his crank. I don't remember if Claire gets this. She probably does. I don't even know where this goes. What do we got on the map? The kennel. Oh, I missed some items in the kennel. That's right. I just kind of like killed the dogs in the kennel and then just ran away and was like, I don't need any items here. I think there's at least a gunpowder that I missed. So I'll probably just backtrack and get it now so that I don't have to try to pick it up when there's a bunch of stupid dogs running around. I'm also really full on just about everything. I'm going to go ahead and combine that for now. 
Got this dumb key, the crank, flashbang. Like, my inventory is, like, all jacked up right now. I only have one spot open to do anything. It's just, in general, not a good time right now for my inventory. But hopefully that gets fixed soon. Where is this little area? There's, like, nothing here. Yeah, this is like the power area. I might as well pick this up and combine it with what I already have. So I have a triple herb. What else we got around these parts? More gunpowder. I'd rather not use the gunpowder. I kind of want to like keep the gunpowder, but now I'm going to have no inventory space. Well, that's that's pretty unfortunate. What else do we got around here? I might just have to go back and do, like, a little bit of inventory management, unfortunately. Nice little puzzle here. All right, well, it's either, like, get shotgun shells and waste another high-grade gunpowder. Fuck it, I don't really feel like going back. This is, like, no magnum ammo run here. Oops, I want to examine this. Just open this up now. Where's the little flap? Open it. Just tear the box open, Leon. Whenever I get a box, I don't open it carefully. I just, like, rip it open like a caveman, so. I think this whole room is generally done. There's also a diamond key up there, and I don't know where else. Locked door that I think only Claire gets to go through. There's, like, a little area here with some more gunpowder slash ammo. I don't remember. Um, Can't wait to just dig around with this for a little bit. I actually don't remember the solution to it. This is probably going to be the hardest puzzle of the game, honestly. All right. They're all off. What about this? No, it's not good enough. That's, like, way too much. How about that? Almost. It was a close one. There we go. That didn't take too long. I, I'm basically just hitting space over and over on random stuff. So, not, a, not exactly the best puzzle solver. Let's go ahead and try and take, um, take care of some of these idiot dogs while we can. Because they are pretty annoying. They're very fast and very annoying. Probably one comes out of this vent. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Though then again, a couple of them probably aren't going to spawn because I killed them all in the kennel, so. Yeah, get out of here. Dang it. Well, I wasted a bullet, but... Ah, that not really? You can't... All right, maybe I just missed them. I wasted three bullets now, so that's not very good. Oh, what the hell? I don't really care about... All right, that was close. Oh, come on, another one? How many dogs are there? Didn't I kill most of you in the kennel? I'm in, like, light green now? Come on. My perfect dark green health is ruined. I'm also pretty low on pistol ammo. Dang it. Well, rip, rip green health now. If I didn't miss one of my bullets, maybe I would have been fine, but... If only I knew how to aim. That would have been cool. Learning to aim would be pretty cool. If I see another dog, I'm about to just blast it in the face with a shotgun. Alright, where else do we get to go? We get to go up here. Power's also on. I could probably go get the pistol upgrade, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take, it's going to make me, or it's going to make the pistol uh, be an extra square of inventory, so that might not be the best. What is this? More film? Oh, come on. Dude, I really have to, look, actually, if I just go up these stairs, there's like a safe room, like right up those stairs, so. 
I'm just gonna dip in there real quick, do some inventory management, and then come back. And we'll be all good. Also, we get to hear the safe room theme again, so extra motivation to get back to this room. There's also a bunch of windows that can get broken into. More shoddy shells. Very good. Uh, the lights are off for some reason. Another blue herb. All right. Let's go ahead and dump this. What else can I dump? I probably dump that. I probably don't need... I'll just dump that for now. I guess for the sake... God, I don't know what to... I don't know what to drop in. Probably don't need this film. I can just ditch that film. Let me move that there. This knife's basically broken. I can get rid of the key, but then the pistol will be upgraded. I wish I had these two squares right here, but that's a big no. Right, let me pick up a couple extra things here before moving on. Another gunpowder, high-grade gunpowder. I could have made some magnum ammo, but I wasted... The, uh, the other yellow one I had. Probably gonna make some pistol ammo, because why not? Move that there. Take this out. Do I have any red herbs in here? I think there's a red herb, like, downstairs that I can get. So I'll just store that. I think we're generally looking about as okay as we're gonna get on inventory for now. Though there's probably a couple more things around here. Some magnum ammo just sitting here. An electrical part that I'm gonna need to get the hell out of here. I need to do backtracking anyway, so we'll store this. Um, I'll probably come back and get that. Two healing items is kind of a waste, but I don't really trust. I feel like I feel like if I just get screwed over, I'd like to have two healing items. Probably don't need that. I'll just get rid of this grenade for now. And it's time to backtrack. Man, that safe room is good. That theme is just so good. I hate leaving the room every time. I just want to stay in there. That wouldn't be a very fun playthrough, would it? That wouldn't be the most fun ever. Alright, so where did I want to go? I wanted to go all right, back in here get this red herb and then to the to the police car that I can open All right, that's nice and blue so we got everything I think so now we'll go back to the parking garage which probably has a bunch of dogs in it which actually is not very good this is actually not gonna be very good yeah, there's, there's definitely... Oh, you fucking... Oh, God. All right, dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, come on. Dang it. All right, well, that frees up that. I'm about to just blast these dogs in the face with a fucking shotgun. Oh, come on. I wasted a shell, too? This is going terribly. Leon. This is, like, such a waste of ammo, probably. You know, if I had that grenade, I could have just tossed it out the door and probably blown all three of them up at the same time, but... You know what? Hindsight's 2020. Fucking get in here and start blasting fucking I, I Oh come on. I hate this area. I should have just came out and just started shooting them to begin with, but how's that knife not broken? Oops. Holy crap, what a waste that was. Alright, I guess the knife is broken because I can't get it back. It was just sticking out of him. Well, that was a big waste of health and ammo, and I'm back in light green. Stupid key. There. Open. Thank God it was this car. Gunstock, Matilda. Can I just combine it here? Cool. It does take an extra inventory space. Can I examine this? Allows the gun to fire three rounds per pull of the trigger. I don't know. Doesn't it also, like... 
I think it also makes your uh, crosshair move in faster, which doesn't really... Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe it is just the three-round burst. Can't tell. I'm pr no, I think I think it is just the three-round burst. So unfortunately, I'm probably going to end up wasting more ammo with the three-round burst, but whatever. I'll keep it for now. 